Hello everyone, and today we have with us a telescope from Svebony, specifically the SV501P model. What do we see on the box itself? What is depicted here? We see a backpack, the telescope itself, the set also includes a tripod, an eyepiece, and also a viewfinder. So there are a lot of accessories. In the package that will come in handy, the same backpack, for example, if you want to take the telescope with you, you already have a bag for it. Next, what else do we see in the package? There's a phone holder so you can take pictures. Now, let's look at what's in this little box. We open it up. Aha, uh -huh, here we have an eyepiece. Let's tuck it out of the bag. And this is how it looks. It also has a mount. This is a Dvajkis model Great. Moving on. Next, we see the backpack with the telescope inside. In the package, I also found another little box. Let's open it and see what's inside. Oh, wow. It even comes in a case. We open it and we see this beauty. It's a lens. Let's close it for now. We'll get back to that later. And now, let's open up our backpack and see what awaits us inside. It opens like this and we immediately see the manual. Hi. In several languages, including Russian. So there will be no problems understanding it. The manual is detailed with descriptions. Of all the main assembly and setup points, how to mount the telescope on the tripod, set up the viewfinder, focus on objects, and, and there's also info about maintenance and cleaning the telescope's parts. Let's keep going and see what's in this bubble wrap. Wow, 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 here we have the mount for the viewfinder itself and the viewfinder's parts. Let's open the safety strap and here we find a small case with what appears to be. The tripod for the telescope. Cool that it has its own case. Let's take it out. It has adjustable height and tilt. The maximum height is 130 cm in this black color. And now the main star of the show is of course the telescope, the SV501. Everything is well packaged. SV Bonnie thought carefully about transportation so the telescope wouldn't get damaged. Let me clean up a bit and we'll take a closer look at the telescope. By the way, let's talk about the backpack a bit more. It's pretty light but has a lot of compartments like this zipper one where you can put documents or papers and of course there's a compartment for the telescope itself. There are also a few smaller pockets where you can place Things like pens, pencils and other small items, even a water bottle. There's also a larger compartment where you can store bigger items. The backpack is quite spacious. Now, let's finally talk about the telescope itself. The SV501P's body reminds me of a small spyglass or monocular. The main difference from similar optical devices is the adjustable zoom and the relatively large 70mm objective lens. Let's take off the cover and look at it. Here's how it looks, with a 70mm diameter. The body also has mounts for the viewfinder and tripod. The lower mount is for the tripod. As I said, the objective lens is 70mm with a 400mm focal length and f5.7. The overall length is increased by the large hood. That covers the lens from stray light. It can be removed and reattached and it locks into place well. You'll need to put some effort into removing this hood. The tripod mount uses the so-called dovetail slot, eh? which attaches to the corresponding part of the tripod and everything is securely locked in place to prevent wobbling. The body of the telescope is made of metal, while the moving parts, like these connectors, are plastic. There are screws for fixing the position and components of the telescope. The set also includes a 20x eyepiece with a standard 1.25 fitting. You can choose another eyepiece of the same size to change the telescope's parameters. Now, let's mount the viewfinder in its special mount. Everything is tightened with screws. No need to over tighten. So you don't break the viewfinder's casing. Now, we attach the viewfinder to the telescope. The viewfinder is a simple 5x24 finder scope with crosshairs on the lens, which helps in locating and centering objects. The field of view is wider, making it easier to navigate. The kit also includes a 45 degree K7 diagonal prism for comfortable viewing. Now, let's attach the viewfinder to the telescope. We unscrew these nuts, place the viewfinder into the grooves and fix it with the same nuts we unscrewed. Everything mounts quickly and easily. Now, we insert the eyepiece with the rotating mechanism. Tighten it with the screw and then attach the 20x eyepiece. 
we tighten everything and here we go. This is how the SV501P telescope looks fully assembled before being mounted on the tripod. Remember, you won't be able to use it handheld. You'll definitely need a tripod or a stand. If you want to use it as a magnifying scope, you'll still need support. The telescope also has focusing knobs. These two are interconnected and when you turn them, this part moves forward and back, controlling focus. This is how it looks fully assembled on the tripod. We've mounted it on the tripod and everything looks great now. I've attached my smartphone to the telescope using the tripod that came with it and here's what we can observe. We can adjust the focus just like this and now we can observe different objects in view. Unfortunately, I can't see the moon from my location at night. So for now, let's look at this view. Not bad, not bad for its price range. The SV501P shows quite a good image. Everything is clear and the focus works well. This is what we can see, the flag of Ukraine. Not bad, not bad. I'll show you more photos at night. When I go outside and will look at the moon, I'll be taking photos for comparison. Stars through this telescope look like simple dotted, so it makes sense to observe constellations without details and relate them to a star chart. As for the moon, here is the kind of image you can get with the phone camera. There are some focus issues with the smartphone, so the image came out a bit blurry. You can try using filters for the 70mm lens. Clearer images can be achieved by adjusting the eyepiece and zoom. Of course, dedicated astro cameras provide much better images. Visually, through the eyepiece, this is what you'll see. Here's a shot of the full moon with more details. You can even make out craters and other features on the surface. This is the S-Bony SV501P telescope we reviewed today. You should understand that all such telescopes provide. A rather modest image, insufficient magnification for individual stars, and overall build quality isn't the best. The only thing where the SV501P stands out is its decent sharpness, which allows you to observe the moon in detail and experience the wonders of the night sky for the first time. Besides nighttime lunar observations, you can use this telescope as a regular spyglass or monocular. You can purchase this model via the link in the description. Thanks for watching, good luck, bye!